All right, guys, it's 37 minutes past five in the morning I'm with my mate boy, and we're going to travel to Holy Island, Lindisfarne. Um, we've got up nice and early, and we're going to get there for the sunrise and cook some breakfast, hopefully, aren't we, boy? Oh, yes, yeah, steak and eggs. eggs. Right, so we're nearly here now, we're just about to go across the causeway because if anyone knows about Lindisfarne, it's actually separated from the mainland by a causeway. Tide times come in certain times, and um, so we've checked them. Um, it's all right to cross at the minute, so we're going to get across there, aren't we? Oh, yes, bring you back when we're over there. Yes. So here we are, the car park, Holy Island. The sun's just starting to rise. And have a walk up the village, maybe the castle. Probably the best place to watch it rise over the North Sea. So we're just walking down the lane now. Approaching the castle, you can see it there, perched up on the top. Sun's just beginning to rise, so hopefully we should catch it as it comes up behind the castle. Ooh -wee. Oh yes. So that's Lindisfarne Castle, perched up on the rock there. It's kind of impressive to be honest with you. Overlooks the sea. That's a lovely view in the morning when you first wake up. Probably just going to have a look up there later on. But our mission at the minute is just to get the, the most easterly coast of the island watch the sunrise as you can see it coming up there it's just about rising out the sea get around this corner there you go beautiful There it is, look at that sunrise. Mint, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just gone 11 minutes past six. And the sun's just risen over the water. that man
Lars. Lars. Get much better views than that. There used to be a priory on here where all the monks lived till the Vikings invaded. Um, way back in probably the year 600, 700, isn't it? Um, it was like the home of Sir Cuthbert's body. Basically, when they invaded, they had to get up and carry him, take him away from Holy Island, away from the Vikings, which is where he ended up in our home city, in Durham, um, where he still resides, Durham Cathedral. A history lesson for you. But I, the, uh, the left, obviously the Vikings kept invading, coming further into the land. And it got to a certain point where it was it was accessible to come back and uh, reform the Priory, which is what they've done. And then I think the Priory lasted until the reign of King Henry VIII, because he put a stop to religious sites. Um, and it's gone ever since. Obviously, they built the castle late, at a later date, which is just behind us over there. But it's beautiful, isn't it? It's a lovely place. Peaceful. A little fishing boat out there. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the sunrise. And we're going to get some steak and eggs on her. Come on. Just approaching the old lime kilns. Comes up to that view. Times of the past, there, eh, boy. Right, ready for some steaks, like boy. Get that crank up and get that pan nice and warm. Steak and dock the legs. took these out last night 
and we seasoned them. Salt, pepper, chili flakes and a bit of garlic salt. Wait that pan gets steaming hot. We're going to get the butter in. Start dousing them in butter. If anyone knows a good steak, plant your butter in. Why am some Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> I know that's what Chris would be saying if he was watching, so what? Why he's born. Why oh, he's born. You can't. Don't let them cook for too long, like. And the medium rare. Nobody likes a well done steak. If you do, shame on you. Crank up and get a nice sear. The waiting game now. And get the eggs on. Breakfast for the view, look at that man. Sun's fully come up over there now. It's a bit nippy this morning actually, isn't it? Right, oh, it was earlier. It was earlier. Lovely juices on the top there. Oh, I some Jamie Oliver. Oh, I'm some Jamie Oliver. Basted. Bring back the tape to his left. The eggs in. Steak's resting. Eggs cooking away nicely while the steak's rest. Ready for brekkie like? Oh yeah. Hungry now like. Eggs and there you go. Steak and eggs. Breakfast with a view. And now for a fine fact, that knife is not going to cut through that steak, like. I'm excited. <laughs> right, this is an original. <coughs> Had it all right.
think about your future? Do you envision me there? Or do you live your life oh, on your own somewhere? I remember the first night when I saw your smile. You wanna spend some time, you wanna stay a while. Can't forget those eyes, I was lost in your gaze. Well, I wish it was time that I must have Like chalk and cheese, like meat and seeds, torn families, the birds and the bees, we disagree, but you and me, I think it's time that we call peace. Got to move these times, except to feel the wrong. Can't be changing your mind, for it's been too long. Now I live life for a future without a worry or a care. I dream to live my life oh, on my own somewhere. Oh, I like that, boy. Aye. Right. Well, it's what you want. Want it rare? I made you rare now. How do you eat this? Made them. Ah! We're just cleaning it up. Cleaning all the rubbish up. Look at all the lefts. That boy couldn't finish in the bag. Get that in that bag. You find it way easier when you're packing up. If you just put all your dirty pots and pans in a bag and all your rubbish and you sort out when you get home. Which it's not hard, but some people find that hard and end up leaving all the gear. Leave no trace. Leave no trace and all that shebang. Look at that. And there's the sun rising just oh, above the lime kilns now. Lovely. Nice bit of heat, because it was nippy earlier on. We're gonna have a little water bout, don't we? Oh yes, nothing's open yet. Nothing's open yet, that. No. Right. So we've packed all the way. Everything's clean, there's no mess left. I right, keep things uh, clean. I've got my hat on today because my hair is style out of the shop like, isn't it? Why it's bonnie. Um, but now that we've eaten all of our scran, we're gonna have a little mooch. We're gonna walk around the side of the castle and then we're gonna go back to the car, put the bag in and then we're gonna be tourists, I reckon, like, aren't we? Wait for everything to open. We're gonna wait for everything to open because it's Quarter past seven at the minute, so obviously everyone's in bed still. <laughs> We're gonna sit in the car, get sorted, and I'm gonna go for a walk out. I think the pub opens at 10 o'clock, doesn't it? When we look online, early morning pint. I didn't know whether they're gonna serve a pint at 10 o'clock, but we're gonna go in and try, even if we can just get a soft drink or something until maybe 11 o'clock. I think it's normally 11 o'clock anyway, isn't it? Yeah. God knows, <clears throat> whatever time's acceptable. I mean, any time's acceptable, especially when we're from the northeast, oh, isn't it? Yes. Um, and one holder. 
and Ron Holliday as well, eh? Little break. I'm off work till Tuesday. He's up here with his family, so I says I'd pop up, um, stay a couple of nights. We've had like a drink last night, haven't we? And just chilled out. And we says today we'd come here and do some sightseeing because it is beautiful, Northumberland. It's like County Durham. It's got loads of um, of medieval features and ancient things to look at. Why I'm some historian. <laughs> <laughs> Use the proper terminology and all that. But anyway, I'm going to stop talking crap now. I'm going to have a little mooch off into the distance. Um, and back the car, right? Oh, yes. Oh, well, then let's go. Why my feet are small? <laughs> Stones. That's the top of the line kiln shafts. Look, you don't want to be falling down there. Nah. It's holy. Oh, it's holy, all right. Holy Island. over the water. The down there, right? And there's a priory over there in the distance. Ah. They meant watching the sunrise, eh, wouldn't it? So that's the causeway where we drove over this morning. Tide's starting to come in. So all this up ahead there will be fully submerged within the next couple of hours. I think it changes about half 11, isn't it? Yeah. We're gonna have a walk along the coast and up to the Priory, aren't we? Nice little trek. Nice little trek. How about them? Chilling in the sun.
So we're just heading along the coast. There's, uh, there's been a canny few dead birds. I think rumour has it at the minute. It's meant to be like bird flu going round again. Either that or some sort of um, poisonous algae in the waters or sewage. But we've walked along, we've seen a fair few. It's kind of sad. Where we live, back in Seam, it's the same. You go down on the beach, kind of few days, and there's been loads of birds lay dead. Hopefully it isn't as serious as I think it is, but it doesn't look too good at the minute, does it? We're just nearly round to the other side. We're heading towards the Priory. There's a sea lion just bottom it. Ah, a sea lion over there. There's normally a lot of sea lions reside on Holy Island. They normally come and sit on the rocks along the coast. A little island over there with a cross on it. Not all that religious. Been christened. But it's one of them things that can take to leave it. But despite that, it really is a beautiful place. You can see why people would have thought back in the day that's a perfect place for an abbey. Because it is beautiful, isn't it? It feels like very stable. Nice, made it. Carry on. I'll get much water out of that. So this is Lindisfarne Abbey, Priory, where the monks used to live. It would have been kind of impressive back in the day, I mean it still is, but there's not a lot left of it. And the newer church built next to it. So we came onto the bank, look at the view, it's like an observation tower there. You've got a better view of the Abbey. See right across to Lindisfarne Castle. Welcome to my crew. <laughs> Look at this. There you go. It was seven nine three, I was wrong. Talk about a 360 view. There's the Abbey down there, you get a decent view of it from here. Right the way 
across the sea. Oh, there's only a small population. I think it says, when I looked it up, I think it's only on 180 so far, isn't it? Oh, 180 people live here to this day, so... Peaceful, though. Very nice. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It is as well. Not scared, like is it? Fruit scone, butter, jam, and cream. And a nice lot here. Look at it. Whoa! <laughs> Didn't care the birds, eh? Like, did they? Talking to this before he gets it. Just casually moving inside because the birds are trying to eat your scram. <laughs> so we've scrammed our scones. We came in out the way of the birds because we were going to get it all eaten. Have a little look about. Pint with a view. Love it. Got to finish. The way that it was intended. Treat his boys off. Min finished or a min dear. So we've walked back to the car park. It's a little bit different to what it was earlier on. Wow. <laughs> absolutely packed. We were the only ones here this morning, and now it's absolutely jam packed. So I think we're coming at a good time, didn't we, boy? Right. Time to leave. We've had a mint day, finished off with a pint, so we're gonna head back to the car and go back to the caravan side. Oh yes. Bevy time. Bevy time. Oh yes. Oh. So we're back at the jag. <laughs> Some jag. We're gonna skedaddle now. Get home, have dinner and have a bit. Oh, look at that poopski. Right on the top of me lid. Lovely. That's gone. So we're about to set off at the caravan site. Why I'm not sweaty. Me hair, man. It's all out of the shop. Bloody boiling. Been mint. We've been here hours. Been here about six, six hours, hours, haven't we? Yeah, it's felt like two minutes. But we've had a good walk around the island and seen everything it's got to offer. It's beautiful. I'd highly recommend if you ever want to visit. Apparently, we were talking to a lad in the pub. There's about 6,000 people come a day, which is ridiculous. It gets absolutely flooded. When we come this morning, there was nobody in. It was lovely. It was. Um, but obviously, the tide times turns people off a little bit, doesn't it? But it's great. Like, you've got cafes, you've got pubs, which is the main thing. Um, and you can have just a little toddle about. Obviously, it's a historic site, isn't it? But um, let's make a move. Yes, back on. Boom. On the bevs. On the bevs. Off we go. Off we go, Nisky. Whoosh, some potholes. I 
something else. That's 0.5 minutes. For the bevies, boy. <laughs> so that's us at the caravan doing what we do best. Had a mint day, haven't we? It's been class. Um, it's only like one o'clock, isn't it? Been out all day, we've seen everything we had to see. Finished off with that little beer and then straight back to the caravan to carry it on. But uh, we've had a great time. Thank you for watching us. And I just want to say a big thanks to me mate Chris from Black Outdoors who's spurred us on to do the channel. I've not had a chance to see it in my earlier videos. Really enjoy doing it. And I want to thank everyone for all the comments as well. Um, it's nice to have support. But all I can say is it's been great. And watch out for the next one. This one's only been a short one. I think we're going to get a camping next time, aren't we? Oh, yes. Um, I think I might be going camping to the Cheviots tomorrow so possibly might do a video there but thank you for all the support because the comments I do read the comments by the way there's a lot to get through and I can't thank everybody enough for how much support I've had in such a short amount of time it's been class doing well I'm so but thank you and thank you for watching this video I can't wait to see you on the next one yes cheers. oh yes cheers <laughs>